When you say she freaked out, what did, what did she do? Did she did she start throwing things at you? Did she scratch you? It looks like you have a scratch on your right bicep there. Is that oh, from... I scratched myself in my sleep. Ha! Hold on, hold on, hold on. What did it... Wait, what did you just say? Up there. Is that oh, from... I scratched myself in my sleep. That's from... You scratch yourself when you sleep. Chat, do y'all do y'all scratch yourselves when you sleep? Hmm? Cause I don't, cause I, I honestly don't remember. How's that even possible? Unless you're just like an itchy ass nigga or something. And even even if you do, even if you do scratch yourself when you fucking sleep, my nigga. How hard? You, how hard is one scratch himself? Like what? On the afternoon of June 9, 2017, 26-year-old environmental sciences student Yingying Zheng was traveling on a bus to an off-campus apartment complex in Urbana, Illinois, where she was planning to sign a new lease for an apartment. She was running late and sent a text message to the leasing agent to inform them that she would arrive just after 2 p.m. After riding on one bus, she exited and tried to transfer to another, yet mistakenly waited on the wrong side of the street for boarding and missed it. She walked to the next hey, bus stop a few blocks away at the corner of North Goodwin Avenue, where surveillance showed that a black Saturn Astra passed her by at exactly 2 p.m. It then circled back around and stopped where she was waiting at 2.03 p.m. She spoke to the driver for approximately one minute and then got in the car before it drove away. The leasing agent sent her a text message at approximately 2.38, but received no reply. As the hours passed, Zheng's friends, aware of her errand and expecting her to return quickly, grew increasingly worried, and a missing persons report was filed to police at exactly 9.24 p.m. that night. The University of Illinois helped coordinate search efforts on and around campus. Yin Ying's family flew into the U.S., and a reward of $50,000 was offered for information leading to her whereabouts, but the local authorities received no leads. It was on the 12th of June, however, when the FBI discovered the surveillance footage capturing Yin Ying's last known location. They were unable to discern the license plate number of the vehicle from the footage, yet they were able to determine that there were 18 four-door Saturn Astras registered to owners in the state of Illinois. One of the owners was 27-year-old Brent Allen Christensen, a PhD student at the University of Illinois who had graduated with a master's degree in physics and who had been married for four years to his high school sweetheart. Michelle Zortman. Investigators Zortman. interviewed him on oh, June 12th me. and inspected his car. When questioned, he reportedly claimed that he did not remember what he was doing at the time of Yin Ying's disappearance, but also stated he was most likely sleeping or playing video games. The police took his contact information and he was released after just a nine-minute interview and a five-minute inspection of his vehicle. Two days later, upon reviewing the surveillance footage, investigators observed that the car's sunroof was similar to that of Christensen's, but more notably that the vehicle in the surveillance had a cracked hubcap, as did the vehicle of Christensen, and who at that moment became the prime suspect. He was called in by police in the late hours of Wednesday night, June 14th, requesting that he come in to discuss what they stated was an important matter regarding Yin Ying's disappearance. Christensen agreed, and an FBI investigator picked him up from his home and drove him to the Champaign Police Department at around 12 a.m. Um, like I said, you're home. Um, my name is Anthony Manganero, especially with the FBI. I'm assigned here at Champagne. Um, and then uh, this is Eric. Yeah, Detective He's Eric Stiverson. Detective with the uh, University Police. Okay. Um, Chat. It was like, it's, not, it's not too loud for y'all, right? Is the volume is the volume good for y'all? It's too loud. I'm turning down a little bit. Cause... Um, we are investigating the disappearance of uh, Ms. Ying Ying. Um, good for you? All right, but... Because we it's are in my offices and it's late at night, I'm going to read you your advice of rights, okay? Um, again, this is a voluntary interview, so at any time you're 
done. We'll drive you back home. That's the end of it. Um, so I know that you spoke with my colleague Joel. Um, I've, I've Joel. Really been able to talk to him. We've been kind of running all over the state. Um, so if you can kind of give me a, a recap of, of what you told him, I would I would appreciate it. Um, our investigation is sure Joel probably told No, you do not have to. Disappearance well, woman. he's not in all cases. You know, I mean... And you got enough points, you can use your points to buy, to buy it, but most viable no, tip that we had that referred to a black uh, Saturn Astra. Um, so uh, that's why he came to talk to you yeah. the other day. Um, do you remember what you told him? And I'm not going to hold you to it if there are certain details yeah. you forget. Uh, so they came... The suspect had just been read his rights and essentially made aware that he is now a suspect. Yet instead of confronting the situation and demanding why he is being put in such an uncomfortable position at such a late hour, he calmly accepts and responds in a non-adversarial manner. Imagine yourself in his position. You have nothing to do with this young woman's disappearance, yet you are being Watch hassled and phone. even accused by police in a what passive yet blatant fashion. You would most likely demand to know exactly why you were being questioned in such a manner and exhibit some form of protest or objection at the current circumstances. They were just checking out all of the Saturn Astros in the area. Mm -hmm. I know it's a pretty rare car, so probably a short list. Um, yeah. He asked where my wife and I were during, I think it was two or three on Friday. And I mean, I graduated a couple weeks ago, so I'm looking for jobs right now. So, okay. I mean, I was either playing video against my computer or taking an afternoon nap. You get next week. So, I was unable to purchase an album. Wait in this month, we'll see. I looked into certain things to try and see if I could get some kind of info for an alibi. I sent some texts around that time, but none exactly between two and three. He stated that he was looking for texts that he may have sent during the time in question for the purpose of producing an alibi. Yet he was clearly unaware that police would later confirm that he was not playing video games at any point during the day in question either. Even when offline, well, digital forensics are able to uncover the exact true. time a game was played and how long it was played for, which is far easier to determine on a computer than it is on a video game console like a PlayStation or Xbox. This wouldn't have completely refuted his alibi, as the suspect was smart enough to provide two possibilities. The narrative that he could have been sleeping at the time would still have credibility. Um, I let them come in the apartments, they searched for stuff, I let them come in the car, they searched for stuff there. Um, that was pretty much it. Okay. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, give my info. Uh, would you uh, graduate in? Uh, masters in physics. In physics? Yes. Well, that's way smarter than me. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, She's crazy. I'm, not, I'm, I'm assuming that's over at the U of I there. Yes. Shit. Hey, graduate, I ain't gonna lie, you graduated with a master's in physics. You gotta be a really smart ass nigga. I ain't gonna lie to you. Physics is a very difficult thing. You know how, to, bro, y'all know how hard it is to learn physics? I don't think I realize it, but physics is a very hard hard like subject in like learning bro or a hard topic in science learning now imagine majoring that shit physics is easy no the fuck is not no the fuck is not liberator have you have you taken a physics class have you taken a physics class let me find out if, if you have and you pass with flying colors and so, so be it just understanding it's not just understanding bro it's you there's literally a lot more to that shit it, it's literally like equations and shit you have to do bro you have to learn so many different equations and try to figure out shit it is not an easy subject it is not easy at all that's fun <laughs> Libre, wait what, what grade what grade are you in just just make sure what, what grade are you in just so i, I have like a, an idea or i you know yeah Matt, i feel like you're you good at that bro even bro, even people even people who i know who are really good at math they hated physics Graduate high school, finna start college. Oh, good. Since you're in college, since you know you're, you know, you love, you know, all these equations and shit. If you, if you need a pre a prerequisite for uh, science or math, actually, I think it's for science only. Take physics. All right, go ahead and take physics. All right. 
And I, and I want you to tell me how you do in there. All right. Major electrical engineering. I'm taking it. Oh yeah, GG. GG to you, bro. <laughs> Look, I took astro. I took astronomy. I took astronomy. Okay. Before I took astronomy, I had no idea about what it was I was getting myself into. I thought it was like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna learn about the stars and the galaxy and the planets. It's gonna be so cool. No, nigga, it's a lot different than that, bro. Them niggas had me taking. Them niggas had me fucking doing equations to to uh to how much a, a fucking um a light year is worth. Uh, what was the distance between Earth and this planet and a star? A star's fucking mass, bro. They were the amount of shit I had to look, dude. I don't understand. I don't understand, bro. Look, back, look, back, you know, way back then, this is like a couple years ago, Josh and I used to, you know, go to the same college, all right? So, what happened? We had this, we had the same exact class, uh, we, but we took the same exact astronomy class. I shit you not, look, this nigga had to drop it, bro. He couldn't, he couldn't do it. This shit was too, I, and I don't, look, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. I almost dropped, I almost dropped it too. I almost dropped the shit too. I barely made it out with the fucking C. All right, I made out with a C plus. All right, I was able to pass that shit, but the bro, the exams were fucking crazy. The exams were actually pretty, pretty fucking crazy. I had to deal with literally, bro. I had to literally deal with um, bro. I look, I had a whole webcam facing me during my exams, right? Because mind you, these are this is like an online class I was taking. I had a whole webcam facing me, so I could not cheat. I couldn't cheat on exams, bro. I could actually know. The answer to this shit. I have to actually know the answer to this shit. And in most cases, I didn't even finish the exams, which is okay because because they only graded what you they only agree they only graded what you uh it was kind of it was kind of cool they only graded what you uh attempted and not what like you didn't finish, which is pretty interesting. But yeah, that shit was crazy, bro. I'm glad I didn't drop it though. I got my credits for it. It was worth it. But the pain afterwards is pretty harsh, so I don't know. Um, you said your wife was out of town. Um, yes. The guys it's not as easy to pay attention. Eh. Okay. You guys are originally from there? But that's like, that's like, that's for every single class you take, though. That's legit for every class you take. It's like, oh, you know, fucking math is easy, you pay attention. No, not really. Not really. I mean, yeah, I mean, you're gonna, you, may, you may understand the concept of it, but, I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna... Pass a flying colors, cause shit's always gonna be hard in some in some way, shape, or form, or something. You know what I mean? But that's it. There or yes. Is okay. Um, do you know what day she was uh, in Wisconsin? Um. Made a concept. The concept. The, the concept of physics is easy. Sunday. The concept of physics is pretty easy. You mentioned that you. But you the equations text is not easy. The equations are pretty difficult. Hours, the concept easy equations no. Um, that's correct. Do you do you? Recall um, any text message they sent that day, or like whether it's oh, yeah, there were one. I, I actually left. I, well, I didn't, they didn't look through the phone, but I was showing them texts on my phone. Okay. Like, someone sent me a text at like 1 30. I responded at like 3 45 or something okay. like that. So, then the car 204. Okay. Um, there are texts around it, yeah, but not, maybe not. Not exactly that's between specific. two and three, and that's why I think I was probably lying down and sleeping. Those floor teachers like, in there, fucking losers. You know, especially now, I'll typically do stuff in the morning, look for jobs. Play Is still here? Like, uh, no, I don't know where he's doing. I like to sleep, yeah. wake up, respond. It definitely fits. Okay. okay. So. Um, was that kind of pattern of kind of looking for jobs, um, kind of having a little relaxation after graduation, was that typical of the the entire week prior. Looking for unfamiliar patterns in both the suspect and the missing person's behavior is routine procedure in a missing person's investigation. The question is posed to the suspect in a delusive manner, as anything he says at this point will not be taken at face value. The investigators will be relying solely on forensics and witness statements to determine any shifts in behavioral patterns during the week in question. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. It's... Um, do you remember specifically you sent any applications out online or if you visited any places on uh, Friday, throughout the week? Um, throughout the week? Uh, I haven't had any in-person interviews. I had a phone interview on Thursday and... Anything on Friday? Okay. Do you have any questions for me before... Um, um, <sighs> wow. 
why am I under suspicion? Is it just my car, or is there anything else? Uh, I mean, that's, you know, a large portion. Uh, I mean, it is uh, a very unique car. Um, like I said, our search warrant is, uh, is just for the car. Yeah. So we can, yeah. you know, um, look into it. We can, of course, see what we can find. And, of course, you could also turn around and exonerate it completely. I mean, we're talking about a very rare car. Yeah. So, um, the suspect cannot be detained at this moment and has just showed the first sign of contention. The first direct confrontation is yet to take place, and detectives will always plan for it to be initiated by them. For this reason, the lead investigator switches the suspect's focus to a less confrontational matter in order to put him at ease before the first confrontation begins. The detectives want to induce anxiety in the suspect, but it needs to be done at the right time to have the most advantageous effect. Uh, how long were you at the U of I? Did you do undergrad there as well? No, I did my undergrad at UW Medicine. Okay. And I came here in 2013. Okay. I was initially in the PhD program, but I decided I didn't want a PhD, so I just kind of left with the master's. Got it. Um, so imagine you accepted a robbery. What? Sorry. Right. Not too bad. It's all right. Uh, do, you, do you meet your wife there? Or? No, we uh, actually. We're just scamming the ceiling. Yeah. Y'all are hilarious. hilarious. So, end of high school. So we both moved to Madison when I went to undergrad and moved here. Cool. Do you have any, uh, Hello, Abdullah. How are you doing? Yeah, the, uh, when we were talking about uh, Friday, uh, the day in question on the night, uh, yeah. the night, can you remember, you, you said that you played video games all day on Friday? Yeah. Is it just between the time period that he's asking about or just literally all day? Literally all day. Um, at the moment, not really hanging out with too many people or talking to too many people. Um, my wife and the girl I yeah, talked to, um, she was busy, my wife was out of town, so it's like, well, I'm alone today. So, uh, yeah. It's just you didn't, you didn't of, go cruising campus or anything? I did on Saturday, but okay. I mean, you're getting a little stir crazy. Just decided to go for a drive yeah. on Saturday, but um, did you go out to eat or anything? Go any places? No, I didn't go out to eat. Whenever two investigators are conducting an interrogation, they will always decide which one of them will be initiating the confrontation beforehand. Experienced investigators are often familiar enough with nonverbal cues that even a slight pause or look will be enough to signal the start of the encounter. Oh God. Oh God. You know that we didn't bring you all the way up here to talk about video games. Bruh. What you had for lunch that day. Yep. You already know that you already know that feeling, bro. When, bro, you already know that feeling when the when the tension in the room is fucking like just tight. Yeah. Like you just had the two you just had these niggas just staring at you like, yo, it's it's over for you, bro. It's over. You know what I mean? Time for the interview type of shit. And it's like, yeah. Like I, like I said, look, it, look and I know for a fact that I did something, all right, let's say I murdered, let's say I killed somebody, all right, in GTA, and let's say I'm going, I'm going to get interrogated or something, just know, look, I'm not saying shit, all right, I'm not saying a damn thing, all I know is I'm not saying a damn thing. Because the car I own... But my lawyer, that's the only thing you have to say. The confrontation is initiated in my the form lawyer. of a question, and a suspect is put on the spot. Instead of responding to the confrontation with a confrontation of his own, which is a common reaction for a truthful subject, he tries to give a justifiable reason as to why he is being questioned without acknowledging the severity of that same element. He's trying to avoid the confrontation. Yeah. Yeah. So who was driving that car other than you on, on Friday night? Nice try, QX. He's dying here. The, the ninth. It's it, you're driving your car on the ninth. Orange. Does is, anybody else have access to that car? No one has access to that car. Okay. So how many sets of keys do we have that car? Am I under arrest? Two. No. I want to cook some food. Car. Literally, that's all you gotta do, bro. I would have. What's going on, Queen? What's good? And hers were in Wisconsin, right? <laughs> and what do you keep on that keychain? You keep both sets of keys, right? One for the Camaro, or do you have separate sets? Um, I have one keychain, but sometimes I take the Camaro keys off of it. So, 
Now, let's talk specifically about Friday. Okay. You went to school for how long at the U of I? Since 2013. Since 2013. Yeah. So you're very familiar with our campus? Not really. I never really um, talked to anyone. So. so you're kind of a loner? Yeah, last night you wasn't laughing at half the time. But specifically on that day. Okay. Well, you you originally told the agents that came to your apartment. I mean, yeah. Video games all day long. You didn't leave the apartment. Yeah. But it's fair to say that mm. we know that that's not true, correct? Why would I lie? I mean, I, maybe there's some misunderstanding why why we're here. Because, like I said, we're 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 not just looking. For a needle in a haystack. I, I'm sorry. Let me take that back. We are looking for a needle in a haystack. Yeah. But my point is, you're you're making it sound like we're just we we just randomly came across your vehicle of the 1400 Astros that are in the state of Illinois. I have so so so. What would have happened that day that brings us to you? Probably that I live in Champaign. The suspect once again what? refuses to acknowledge the severity of the confrontation and offers a justifiable reason as to why he is being questioned in such a manner. I mean, I've never seen one before, uh, an Astro. So... Okay. Well... You're moving that door often? Fuck no. What do you mean when I say that the... That's what talk the whole damn time. The FBI is going to descend on that vehicle. Is it n word? Go ahead, QX. Right now, my primary concern is why I've been out till midnight, and these guys have been out till midnight every single night, is we're trying to find this girl. It's raining outside, it's nasty. She's a foreign student who's only been here for a few weeks. I want to find her. I'm asking for help. I know. I. I mean, I've got her getting into your car. I need to know why. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Right, let, me go back a uh, let me go back a little bit. Hold on. I have to, like, pick up on what, like, what's going on here. Hold on. Right now, my primary concern and why I've been out till midnight and these guys have been out to midnight every single night because we're trying to find this girl. It's raining outside, it's nasty. She's a foreign student who's only been here for a few weeks. So why are you trying to look for her though? I want to find her. I'm asking for help. I know. I... I mean... I've got her getting into your car. I need to know why. Like I, I'm also, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like understanding that, like, bro, like it's literally over for you, bro. The last, her last sec, her last time getting seen was getting her getting into your car, bro. All right, and unless you have like a good refutal for what, like for what happens, you know. Afterwards, and speak, and people, and someone could actually confirm where she's been after that. You can't really, you know what I mean? Like you can't really say anything. Like you're done. It's over, bro. Your only way of breaking out of this is literally to have someone like confirm. Oh, she was at the, she was at the, uh, the grocery store or something like that. You know what I mean? Like you're done, bro. Right? But yeah. We watched two right now. I need to know why she's getting into your car, and I need to know where she went. If we can help her, we need to know now. She doesn't give you give an word pass. Well, Jenny has a troll crazy. mark, so I doubt he really want, he really means sorry. that. Sorry. And you've been at the U of I for how long? Three years. Three. And that you know what we do. Facts. I work in the well, facts in the U of I, and you know what we have access to. Cameras. Do you think that we're not going to track a vehicle all over campus 
We control kiosks to bus stops. We can look in buses. We can look in every building out on the streets. And you're Watch telling me past that then? I didn't see oh you God. driving your car on Goodwin. That I didn't see you driving down Wright Street and turning on right in front of a parking where everybody pays their tickets and driving down University to Goodwin and heading south. And then you see her standing on that corner in that shade tree, didn't you? That's where you first saw her. And then you turned, you turned on Clark, and we still have cameras. I've seen the videos, but I didn't see me. You've seen what we've allowed you to see. Can I see the stuff that you're talking about? Do you think that we brought you up here to show you video? We wanna, we wanna understand why you did it. Yeah. We want to understand why you stopped her to pick her up. Was it to give her a ride? Are you afraid to tell us that you gave her a ride? Maybe you want to make a couple bucks as an Uber driver, and she told you I had to go get, I had to go sign a lease at One North, and you're like, oh, I know where that's at. I'll drop you off. If you're afraid to tell us that you gave her a ride someplace, niggas around and picked her up, bro. We can work with you there. A familiar technique that has no official name but is widely recognized and routinely put into practice. The detective is essentially trying to get one foot in the door by aiming for a lower level of initial admittance. He is aware the suspect is unlikely to provide an outright confession, but more likely to at least acknowledge that he was driving the car that picked up the victim, and even more likely to do so when afforded an exit strategy. He is also given a justification as to why he has been reluctant to divulge this information up to this point. You will now see the suspect start to physically shake as his mind races back and forth as to whether to take the bait or not. Oh shit. But I know that you picked her up. I know you did. I saw you in your shirt, arms fully extended. Oh shit. Look at that. Where did you drop her off at? She, she came his, for a ride. She missed they her came his feet, bro. She told you she was going to one north, so where did you drop her off at? For my mom, bro, just, just, just give it up, bro. It's over. You can't, you can't get out of this. You're, it's over. It, it's, it's over. Okay. It's over, man. I thought I drove around on Saturday. I did pick a girl up. I don't remember where. Okay. I saw her picture. I don't think it was her, though. Do you remember the girl's name Smart that you picked up? No, she was shiny good. Very broken English. Like, what do you mean I'm good? What, I can't smile? What, am I supposed to just free out and just, just frown the whole entire time watching the video or something? Every look, like, what, I'm supposed to watch a video like this? Like, I'm mad the whole time? That's how, that's how I'm supposed to be it? Hmm? Yeah, I love this video, guys. That, that's, that's what y'all want me to do. I can't smile. Enjoy the video. Every, 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 every facial expression, everything I do just has to be graded on y'all. Y'all, y'all just keeping a little, you know, this, this what some y'all are doing right now. I, I just know y'all are just keeping a little notepad, writing down. Hmm. Is Sean smiling? Yeah, yeah, he's smiling a little bit too much. I think I'm gonna give him that uh, a C minus. Hmm. Uh, Sean wearing glasses? Yeah, I'm gonna give that a D minus. Hmm. Sean's not really saying anything about the video. Yeah, I'm gonna give that a D too. This is what y'all are doing the whole fucking video, bro. I can't watch the video. God damn. Tell us about what happened. What time of day was that? Early afternoon. I don't really remember. Okay. I was just driving around. Um, I saw a girl and she was very distressed. Okay. So I stopped my car and looked at her. Okay. I asked her if she needed help and talked to her for a little bit, not how much. I gave her a short ride a couple blocks. Okay. She freaked out and got out. A short ride a couple of blocks, so, she well, freaked out and got out. Was this when you got on the north side of the railroad tracks on Goodwood? Wow, she freaked out, though. University and you drove on north? And you let her out by the hospital or by the railroad tracks? Or where did you let her out at? I don't really remember specifics. Um, was it close to where you picked her up? Yeah, it was relatively close. It was in a residential area. Okay. 
so I've never really been over there before. I have no reason to. Okay. I mean, when you say she freaked out, what did what did she do? Did she did she start throwing things at you? Did she scratch you? It looks like you have a scratch on your right bicep. There is that oh, from. I scratched myself. In my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. What did it mean? What did you just say? Up there, is that from? I scratch myself when I sleep. That's from. You scratch yourself when you sleep. Chat, do y'all, y'all scratch yourselves when you sleep? Hmm. Cause I don't. Cause I, I honestly don't remember. How's that even possible? Unless you're just like an itchy ass nigga or something. And even, even if you do, even if you do scratch yourself when you fucking sleep, my nigga. How hard do, how hard is one scratch this up? Like what? What possessed humans do exactly? What the fuck? Unless unless you like lucid dreaming or something, and you just you know you just know. Oh, I feel itchy, so I'm just gonna you know scratch myself while I'm sleeping. Like no one no one does that. Nobody does that. So she just freaked out. So she's sitting in the front passenger seat of your vehicle. Okay. Has anybody else sat in that front passenger seat since she got out of the car? Probably. Why are you pressed about um, it? Stop the press game. Pressed time about time it. You know, what? I'm gonna just make sure. I'm gonna just. Pretend, I'm gonna just pretend I don't see some of y'all's comments. All right. Next, next dumb comment I see. I'm gonna just stop watching the video and we'll do something else. All right. So shut the fuck up. So other than your wife, who, who else sat in the front passenger seat with you that you know? Um, maybe a guy she's hanging out with. Your wife? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't okay. think it was her. Uh, I, and, well, and I if it's if it it's her, not again. I want to find this girl because I know she's alone and scared out there, and we yeah. don't have any contact with her. So you said you picked her up. Yeah. You went a couple blocks away to a residential area. Do you remember if you went north? I went north for sure. Okay. I mean, I know my current directions. Yeah. Day. Okay. So you went north. So that, that was relatively close to. So. All right. To to where? It was relatively close to Loomis. I'm somewhere that okay. area. And she said something like, "Turn left after a couple blocks." Um. Maybe she said something else because that's really when she started freaking out. Okay. And she wanted to get out of the car, get out, try pulling the door. It's locked because my the car had locks. Mm -hmm. Does it? Where were the streets at? Do you remember? No, I don't remember. You woke up to your you dick getting sucked by a ghost, and then you woke up disappointed. No, I don't. That is called a succubus, Zeno. Chat, y'all ever y'all ever had deal with a succubus before? Hmm. Y'all ever y'all ever dealt with a succubus? No. You did. Okay. Let me let me let me ask a better question that. Cause I'm pretty sure y'all, some of y'all probably don't realize what a succubus really is. Had y'all ever had like, like, had y'all ever had like a dream where you've had where you where you had sex, like a dream where you where you gotten, you know, you getting you were getting for, where you were fucking a bitch in a dream or some shit. Yes. Okay. That is a succubus fucking you. All right. You were fucking a succubus. That that's what that shit was. A succubus is is, is really a demon that fucks you in your sleep. That's legit what a succubus is. What'd you what'd y'all think it was? Some of y'all here who thought y'all were so innocent and everything. Well, a uh, succubus can take away that innocence. Can take away your innocence like that, bro. Like just like that. Take away your innocence and then where are you? She's a sex what crazed demon. You said she had trouble speaking English. Well, well she, she was Asian. Asian. She was Asian. She was Asian. Okay. Um well, what was what do you think? How old do you think she was? Was she, uh, you by she demon? Was a student, undergrad? Pretty much, yeah. Was she somebody I guess was about 20. And there's nothing that you could do about it. Um, so, yeah. Her hair length. Which, kind of here. Um, uh, I have trouble telling Asian people apart from one another. Sorry. Well, you would remember no, this very really specific, though, because when you pulled up to her, you rolled your window down and she leaned into your car, so you were looking right at her face. And what did she have on her face? What did she have on her head? You were looking right at her. I don't remember. You don't remember? No, I mean, even, so I taught many, many semesters here and a lot of the students were Asian. Okay. Was she wearing glasses? 
Did she have a ball cap on? The detectives continue to inquire over the missing person's appearance in the hopes that the suspect will give them an accurate response. If they can ascertain that the suspect's memory is clear enough to accurately recollect what clothing an individual was wearing at a particular time, it will enable them to cut through claims of a poor memory when inquiring into separate matters that occurred during that same time period. If the suspect is guilty, it would be in his best interest to continue to assert that he can't remember. He has already stated that she was Asian and had poor English, yet these general details are far easier to remember than particulars, <laughs> such as specific articles of clothing, which detectives are now trying to trap him with. They got to use a Ouija board to try to get that spirit while awake. So. <laughs> what did she tell you about it, bro? You rolled down the window and you were chatting with her. You said she looked distressed. Um, that's my stuff. Do you remember specifically what <laughs> she saying. said to you? Um... Are they some pedos? Um, Pretty much. Okay. Which would she say to them? Uh, she said, "I'm late. I need to." But then again, who's gonna mean? Like who's gonna who's gonna prosecute them though? I'm not exactly out of it, but just kind of like, oh, I'm gonna help this random person. So anyway, I mean, they can't, they're just demons. Um, so she said she can't. They can't be arrested. Yeah. Not saying it makes it right, but hey. Right, because again, I was just trying to get around. So. Did she say where she was trying to get to? You mentioned the. Um. Show me the phone. Uh, with the mask. She said she had a meeting with her professor. When I told her my name, she didn't really hear it, so I had to say it again. Mm -hmm. A few times. So, I mean, her English was really bad. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, with the six months in advance, what? Six months in advance, you know? That's, that's basically until March. God damn, okay. Yeah, I mean, we really didn't talk about much. There really wasn't much said. Just, she looked freaked out. So, Massive W. Right. So, how, how long do you think that she was in your car for? Less than five minutes. Not long at all. Minutes. Not long at all. There's just a few blocks, and I apparently took a wrong turn compared to what she said, and that was enough to spook her. I don't know. So when you crossed the railroad tracks, did you turn to the left or to the right? <laughs> I don't remember railroad tracks. So you said you kicked her out of the car at a residential. I think we're She got out of the car. Oh, she got out of the car? She wanted to get out. Like, that's why I let her out. Because oh, she was freaking out. Yeah. Okay. And she was saying things that you didn't understand. I'm because not mad. Uh, she, she thought you took a wrong turn. Yeah, and something comes up, I don't know, something like that. So, yeah. And she tried to open the door, but again, it was locked. Because my car auto locks. Um, I was the one to get out. I'm not going to keep someone I barely know in my car who just want to be in there. You know, I don't know the girl. Um, so they're up. That was the last I saw her. Really? Okay. Yeah. All right. I mean, um, I would have told us earlier, but I mean, I thought it was Saturday. I just... Um. Again, I was driving around a decent amount beforehand. I don't remember exactly what I did beforehand. Yeah, we. Some. You were definitely driving all over campus, and you were by yourself. And you weren't playing video games all day. So why would you tell us that? Why would you tell the FBI that comes to your house that I you were Saturday? I don't know. We didn't accept the days. I mean, I thought I was doing it Saturday. So what did you think that what? those two agents were at your house talking to you about when they came over? Friday. That's why. I mean Friday is a day? Or Friday or they're there to ask you if you picked up an Asian female and gave her a ride. About Friday. I mean, they were asking me about Friday between two and three. So I told them. I mean, maybe I got my days mixed up. You know, I said a little bit ago. I thought I was doing this Saturday. But you didn't bother to tell them. Oh, I didn't. I played video games all day Friday, uh, uh, detective. But I actually did pick up a female on Saturday. You, you didn't feel the need to give them that information. And it might be important. I mean. 
The lead investigator <laughs> makes the mistake of interrupting the suspect during a direct confrontation. He is understandably getting impatient, and is at this moment more focused on gathering pretext for cross-examination at a later stage. Alright, so you go northbound through University, where do you go? Damn, so you fucking- I turned left. You sold him! Looks like I did go past, past University, um... You know he did it while you're watching this? Can I ask a personal question? Watch it to analyze. Basically, okay. Look, the point of the point of watching JCS videos is not just for, like to figure out who killed who. It's more so like to it's like okay, it's like it's, like, it's a psychology thing. It's to understand like why they did it, what, like what's the mind behind doing it, and you know, what goes into the mind of like what the detectives do when they when they interview people and shit. That's why. Don't take the wrong way. It is. Um... You, you mentioned your wife went on vacation with another friend. Um, trying to figure out how to do it, doing a crime. Um, how to get away with murder. There's another guy she hangs out with. In GTA. The girl you hang out with. Do you guys have a we're no, we're very open relationship. relationship? Open relationship? Oh my. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. You hang out with. Do you guys have a we're no, we're very open relationship? No, this has to be Cap. This has to be Cap. Please. <laughs> this has to be Cap. He's always he's always saying that, so it doesn't look like he's bad. He we picked up we picked up the, the Asian girl, bro. Let me chat, let me just tell y'all right now. One, let me tell y'all one thing and one thing only. If any of y'all niggas in here end up in an open relationship and I find out about it, or you tell me that you're in an open relationship in the, in this chat, like a lot of you, you're permanent, you're permanent bands, you're perma bands, bro. I'm sorry, I can't, I cannot, bro. I honestly, I cannot. I will never respect people who go into open relationships and shit, bro. I would, I can't, I, I cannot. What's that? So let me, let me give you a breakdown. If you're not sure what an open relationship is, basically, it's a relationship. It's like a normal relationship. You know, you and your girl have like a normal relationship and everything. Y'all are, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend. But y'all can fuck anybody y'all want to fuck. All right? But for those of y'all who don't know what it is, basically, you know, you're two pe two people... A boy and a girl, or whoever, I mean, whatever y'all, I mean, I don't know. Basically, two, two people that are dating, all right, they can fucking, they can fuck anybody they want to fuck, and they're still, in, and, they can, and it won't be counted as cheating, you know what I mean? They can fuck whoever, and it won't count as cheating, so that's what an open relationship is. I don't know why anybody would want to do, why anybody would want to do that. It's, just, it's kind of, it's kind of foolish, the way I look at it, it's like, it's like going it's, okay. The way I see it is like it's like going on a strict diet, but you're still eating like a bunch of junk food at the same time. It's like you're not really committing to anything, but like you're still getting encouraged to like you know eat junk food even though you're on a diet. It's so pointless. It's like why would you do that shit? Look, like bro, most niggas who who be dating who be dating like porn stars and like you know girls have OnlyFans accounts and shit. Those are the dudes who like are, are in open relationship or in open relationships and shit. I don't understand how y how people could how can niggas do that to themselves, bro? How? You ain't gotta be dating the bitch, just fuck her and you know keep it pushing. But like the fuck, it's talking about analyzing. But I just look at I just look at him with his face while he does this. <laughs> what should I say? <laughs> relationship. Okay. I have a girlfriend. She has a boyfriend. Cuck man, shit. Um, it's a certain word I can't say on Twitch, but you understand. So, um, I'm starting between us as well, in an unrelated way. You're not so it's not because of the relationship, it's just a strain. So, um, every marriage goes through some rough patches. Yeah, um, you know, I mean, how, how long has that been going on, that, that strain? The detectives are now building a foundation for the reframing technique. The fact the suspect has been going through a rocky marriage will now be afforded to him as a justification for the crimes he committed at a later stage. Three months. Three months. I mean... And then OnlyFans are going to take your money? Isaiah, only, only fans girls don't give men money. It's the other way around. That's so, that's so backwards. What case do you know about an OnlyFans girl giving her man money? That's the complete opposite. Right now, no. What's happening? Does she go to Wisconsin with a boy or another girlfriend? Guy. Did that How'd that make you feel friend. when she went away for the weekend, this long weekend with that guy? 
Yeah. And it's okay. Those that, those are normal human feelings. That's fucking crazy. Did you feel hurt? Huh? Well, yeah, but I mean, she's been seeing that for a while. Um, but still, she's your wife, and it's tough. You know, even if you're in an open relationship like that, where it's tough to see somebody you care about that you love to go someplace else with somebody else and yeah. not include you. Yeah. And I get that, man. Is that why you were driving around campus all day, pretty much all day long on Friday? Because you missed her? Just trying to clear my head. Yeah, more or less. That's understandable. Again, like I said, I I don't got how you niggas doing. I don't got niggas doing that relationship shit. Yeah, that was sad, yeah. Shit is pointless. Did you talk to any other girls that day? No. Did you talk to any other girls on Saturday, or did you stay home Saturday? No. Once again, days mixed up. Okay. Yeah. yeah I, I, I'm, I'm like I found yeah, yeah, something when I was driving. driving that car got around a whole barracks. When I was driving around, she yeah. was the only person I talked well, to. We had to go out and pay for it because okay. we couldn't get out. Otherwise, that's tough. Do you remember what time you started driving around? That's super that tough. The suspect was driving around for over two hours before he picked up the victim, which was used to assert the argument that he was premeditating an abduction. Do you remember driving off campus in Urbana, into a residential neighborhood in Urbana? In Urbana? If I did, it wasn't that far. So. Were, you, were you in Orchard Downs? Orchard Downs. Where all of our married student housing is. There's a large Asian community that lives out there. You driving around Orchard Downs? I did go to Orchard Downs for a little bit, but there was construction, so I turned back. This was used to assert the argument that not only was the abduction premeditated, but he was specifically targeting a female of Asian ethnicity. So you really? Wait, 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 wait. Were, you, were you in Orchard Downs? Where all of our married student housing is. There's a large Asian community that lives out there. Are you driving around Orchard Downs? I did go to Orchard Downs for a little bit, but there was construction, so I turned back. This was used to assert the argument that not only was the abduction premeditated, so but he was specifically Asian targeting shape. a female of Asian ethnicity. Just so you were cruising around campus a bit, um, trying to clear your head. Yeah, yeah I mean, less Asian women. Wife was up in Wisconsin with her boyfriend. Oh, I thought my Asian persuasions, but. Around, you know me. So I love my Latinas first. Very Latinas first for me, man. If I recognized her, I would have told the agents that came on Monday or Tuesday, whenever it was, that it was her. Okay, light. Because I knew she was missing. Um, I picked up an Asian girl. I thought she was about 20. When she said she was distressed, uh, or you said that she looked distressed, what did, what did she say to you when you rolled your window down and talked to her? Um, I she said she was yes. something. Other than that, did she, did she tell you what, what it was? She or said where she was had a meeting with her professor. Again, my... Um, this race on top. My theory is that she didn't get out of the car. Uh, I'm just being open with you. I don't really count mixed breeds, but hey. She was in there a little bit longer. The lead detective is now using the same technique as the second detective used earlier to gain the initial admittance from the suspect. He doesn't directly accuse the suspect of abduction, but is trying to gain further admittance past what the suspect has already acknowledged, being that he simply picked up and dropped off Yin Ying after she panicked. We have 600 Chinese students that have volunteered to look for her. What I can tell you is that we will find her. Now when we find her is up to you. Because you know and we know that she didn't just get out of your car. So we need to know where she is now so that we can move forward from this. But. If you maintain that she just got out of the car and walked away, it's very difficult for us to move forward. Were, were you hoping for um, 
just kind of like a quick tryst with her, or see if she, you know, trying to trying to pick her up. I mean, that would have been nice, but. <laughs> Do you, do you have, I'm going to ask you a weird question, and you know, a lot of us have fetishes. Whoa. How would you describe your relationship with your wife? Are you guys into certain things? Do you like porn? Do you like... Um, this is what I see. We're pretty vanilla together, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. We have some stuff in our apartment. I mean, do you have like certain types of people that you have fantasies about that you might want to hook up with? You know, not particularly, no. Oh, is that comfy? Well, I'm going to step out for a second. Okay. Yeah. I mean, have you ever like, um, you do realize like everything you tell us, we fact check regardless of what you tell us. So, yeah, like stuff like uh, YouTube videos that you've seen. <laughs> Okay. Regarding Asian what is this? Women. JCS. Do you like videos of Asian women? Like Korean women? Like K pop <laughs> songs and stuff? I mean. Maybe. Nigga, you watching the. Okay, so. The like Asian. Okay, that's, that's the truth. So. This is watching that fucking like Asian porn. You drew your eye to her. Hey. Because she's. I don't know about y'all. But, uh. I, I, I've seen a little bit of Asian porn here and there in my past. And, uh, yeah. Th them bitches don't shave, bruh. They, they don't shave down there. It's a fucking bush every single time. Oh, and they blur out everything. Cruising all over. And if she was truly distressed, I mean, there was an e phone stand right behind her. She could have pushed that button and, and got help. And she didn't ask you for help. Per se, she asked. She needed to get to. She was late for something. Yeah. And that's so you offered to give her a ride. For real, bro. I can't stand watch Asian porn. You're a smart man. Why did we blur out everything, bro? That shit is so annoying. Right? Masters. Masters. Oh, you just got out of the PC. You're still a smart man. Is my point. So you have to understand how technology works. How do you think I knew that she Googled the address to One North? How do you think I knew that? One minute after getting in your car, how do you think I knew that? We know that you did. she didn't get out of your car. You need to be honest with us. Help us put this to rest. Help us bring her back to her family. You can do that. You can do that. You can do it right now. I understand if you've had dark thoughts. I understand if you've been, been depressed. I understand if you've been drinking too much at times. I understand if you've had sadistic thoughts, wondered what it would be like to commit an act of violence. Nah, a lot doesn't go up right now, bro. Temptation is out there. I need to find her. I know she got in your car. You went with her. You've been depressed. Your wife just left to go on a vacation with another man. You see her, she gets in. She's vulnerable. Let me find her. I think I told you. Okay, so did she get back in your car then? No. Did you get out of the car and follow her? No. Definitely not. I didn't get on my car sometime. Why not? Was it because of the kind of neighborhood you were in? I don't know anything about that neighborhood. So. Did um, she run away from you? Did she stand there? No, she stood there. Looked at her phone. And I drove away. Did you? Were you attracted to her at all? We don't know it is. That's why I'm watching the video. We didn't want to know. Well, she's a good looking girl. Did the thought cross your mind? Yeah, the thought crossed my mind, but I probably haven't with anyone. I mean, maybe she's into that, is my point. And I'm not I'm not judging you. If she got in your car and she wanted to have go to another location, you guys have a have some fun rolling roll around 
have sex, consensual sex, something happens, you panic. Is that a possibility? You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. So you're telling me you never had sex with her? I never had sex with her. Mm -hmm. Never penetrated her with your fingers? Any of any parts of her body? With no. your penis? No. With your fingers? No. Never had sex with her. Did you kiss her? No. I could ask Kat. Anyway, anyway, you just picked up a girl, a random girl on campus and just like killed her. I feel like I feel like something has happened. I feel like he has he has to done something. Ain't no way he didn't do nothing, bro. Cause what? Cause what the fuck? Like what? The, what? What's? I mean, obviously, obviously he's psychotic. But like, what? What psycho literally just picks up a girl and kill? Never mind, bro. Are you afraid? Are you afraid to tell me if you did? Because it, it seems like you're you're trying to think instead of just answering the question. You're trying to think about three steps forward, well, like where I'm going with it. And I think I've demonstrated enough. I've shared enough with you that you know that I know. That you, you didn't drop her off in that in that neighborhood. You you know that we can follow her phone. Okay. So where did you drop her off at? Where'd you take her, Brent? Where's the body, bro? The suspect maintained his innocence and was released without charge, but was immediately placed under surveillance at the completion of this interrogation. Really? Four days later, the FBI reached out to his girlfriend, Tara Bullis, who agreed to wear a listening device and attempt to get him to nah. open up about Yin Yang's disappearance and his potential involvement. <laughs> they wired his girl? That is tough. That's tough, bruh. This arranged strategy turned out to be a total success, and Brent Christensen was arrested on June 30th, exactly two weeks after his interrogation. An FBI agent testified that Brent Christensen's girlfriend became a key part of the case when she agreed to record conversations she had with him in the weeks following so, so, Ying Ying Zhang's disappearance. A total of nine videos. recordings Facts. came from that. At first, he denied guilt and told her everything would be okay, but then on June 29th, after a night of drinking, he described killing Zhang in detail. Investigators Whoa. say the final recordings were made the day of a memorial walk and concert for the missing Ying Ying Zhang, an event that Christensen actually attended with his then girlfriend. What he didn't know is that girlfriend was wearing an FBI recording device. On the walk home, the two began to talk about the crime. I cut her clothes off and just started doing stuff to her, he said. Whoa. Earlier in the conversation, he said, she was resilient. I tried to choke her to death, but she didn't. I choked her for what must have been 10 minutes. Then I released her, her breath. I couldn't believe she was still alive. Christensen said he hit Zhang in the head with a bat and stabbed her, and she was still alive, so he decapitated her. What? The prosecutors say the recording showed that Christensen... That nigga's nah, nah, bro. Pe people like that, bro. People like that. I, I, don't, I don't know. What to tell, I don't know what to say. Death, death is just way too easy. I, I don't think. I don't think they. Sh I don't think he should just die. I don't, I don't think give him no death. No death penalty, bro. I feel like torture should be like a like a, a fucking sentence. I feel like people should be should be should be sentenced to torture. It's like certain people should be should be like sentenced to torture, bro. It sounds inhumane, but them niggas ain't them niggas aren't human. So like, yeah, I, I feel like that that would be like a good case for some people, bro. That don't make no fucking sense. This nigga sexually assaulted a girl, stabbed her, hit her in the head with a bat, and after after he was done, my friend, also mind you, choked her for ten minutes. She was still alive and decapitated her. After all that, bro. What kind of psychotic shit? Nah, bro.
Hawkinson bragged about killing 12 other people, but there Wait. was no other ep- Wait, what was that? ...kept her, and she was still alive, so he decapitated her. Prosecutors say the recording showed that Christensen bragged about killing 12 other people, but they have no other evidence of more victims. 12 other people? What the fuck? Ying Ying is the only nah. person that has produced evidence that leads back to me. Number 13, he said. I've been at this since I was 19. Nigga, he what? He had been wanting to talk to someone about it, and he wanted to kill more people. I still want to do it, he said. It's my legacy. And as if this has not been hard enough for Zhang's family, some of them were in the courtroom today. Zhang's father kept his eyes closed during that recording. Christensen was no. mostly expressionless. His defense team has tried to paint him as a man with mental health and substance abuse issues who does not deserve the no. death penalty. The trial continues next week. It's a step toward justice for Ying Ying Zhang, the man who kidnapped and killed her is guilty. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. A jury took less than two hours to convict Brent Christensen of abducting and killing Zhang and lying to the FBI about it. She was last seen June 9th, 2017, getting into his black Saturn Astra on the U of that I campus. Crazy Christensen faces me. either life in prison or the death penalty. Brent Christensen, the convicted killer of Chinese scholar Ying Ying Zhang. Give him a life, bro. Life death is way too easy. Because a mm -hmm. federal jury couldn't decide. Death is way too easy for that to die. The judge certainly didn't mince words in his Salty final statements. CBS 2's Tara Molina is live in the newsroom with more on that decision tonight. Tara. Erica and Brad, this is, the, this is the same jury that found Christensen guilty of kidnapping and killing Zhang. They couldn't come to a unanimous decision on the death penalty. And the judge certainly didn't mince his words. In his final statements to Christensen, he said, quote, the mercy extended to you by this jury is a testament to their humanity not your character. Brent Christensen what? is currently serving his sentence at the Maximum Security Statesville Correctional Center in Illinois. Despite the FBI recordings, he maintains his innocence to this day. The body of Yin Ying Zheng is yet to be recovered. What? So where the fuck he had, where the fuck he, what? So what he do with the body? That shit crazy to me, bro. <laughs> a master's degree in physics and he still didn't seem to understand the gravity of the situation <laughs> that's perfect moral story never ever get in a car with, stra with a stranger yes I feel like this goes without saying bro this definitely goes without saying don't ever okay, look we all we all learned this from, from before we were in fucking elementary school don't never get into a car with any stranger bro no Uber, bro. Even even with the Uber, sometimes I get I get I get a little bit skeptical because I always think, yo, like what like what could happen if someone tries to like you know kill you or you know do some you know some some Ubers you never know, bro. You never know what people will be doing in the, in the world nowadays. I'm not saying you can't use an Uber. I mean, you, should, you, need, you need to you know use it, use it. But I recommend if you get if you're calling an Uber, you definitely get someone to uh. Get somebody to ride with you at least, cause yeah, you, you have a little bit more security, bro. I personally would, I personally would never take a, I would personally never take an Uber or a, or a Lyft by myself. That's just kind of dangerous. I don't know. Really, you almost got kidnapped. Really? I never been kidnapped, bro. As far as I remember, you know what's even scarier though. Look, we uh, we as men, look, I I, I fear more for women. Or girls than I do for our, us as guys. Cause look, y'all know as guys, you know, if we get kidnapped, you know, we get kidnapped. You know, it's one thing. But girls, they are at a bigger risk if they get kidnapped. All right, and most of the times that they get kidnapped, and it, it, it ain't just some, it ain't just you know, oh, you know, ransom shit. You no, know, it's more like they get put into like a, they get sold, and they get sex trafficked and shit. And on top of that, like I said, they're they're also defenseless when they do shit, bro. It's crazy, like super crazy. Girls, y'all got y'all gotta be got y'all gotta be careful when it comes to like just, you know, when it comes to this whole you know, sex trafficking shit and everything, bro. Or not even just that, just uh, just just be careful with like people. All right, if y'all are working. And y'all get off, and it's like late at night, and you know y'all walking in the parking lot. Always walk with the coworker, all right? 
and y'all are at school and you get off and get out of school and it's like you know it's late at night after practice and y'all look to see y'all walk home from school or something like that walk with a friend bro always have someone by your side walking alone is never the answer especially at night especially if you're, def- you're defenseless that is not the case man